Lord is upon me, for he sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Kids, she goes, 
Father John, I'm breaking up with my boyfriend. I go, yes! <laughs> I love breaking up high school kids. Because it's just so stupid. It's stupid to be going out in high school. I mean, where are you going to go? Please. You don't even know what love is, and then what kind of circumstances are you going to get yourself in as you get more and more attached to that you get married? So what are you doing? You know? You don't mess with fire. You're burning. And so this, this youth came up and was li actually listening, and it was great. And saying, you know, I'm going to make a change in my life. Again, I wish I could transport to all these things, because the fire that would be lit, you know. And uh, I, I thank you again for letting me do this, because I think this makes me a much better priest for you. And just being able to see this and to be, uh, to, to continue to learn, because I've got a whole lot of learning to do. True or false, God is mediocre. False. Yeah. So why do we act like he's so mediocre? Yeah, you know. Yeah, we just had the Eucharist. An actor in Croatia said, if people walked out of my acting like they do Sunday Mass, I quit. I quit because I'm, it's just not inspiring. Now, I'm not saying that about you. I'm not saying that about me. But maybe I am. I mean, the life that God calls us to. I just wanted to focus, uh, firstly, on our, our collect, our opening prayer today. Oh God, who in the abasement of your Son. Abasement means voluntary humiliation. Oh God, in the voluntary humiliation of your Son, Jesus Christ. He voluntarily humiliated himself for us. What a precious gift, huh? The humility of our God. Through that, you have raised up a fallen world. The theme of our retreat was when you're standing and you can't stand anymore, fall into me. Fall into Jesus. You have raised up a fallen world. Fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. You bestow eternal gladness on sinners who've been forgiven. That's the gift that we have. Let the world know that. That's what everybody's craving for. Experience that forgiveness and talk about that. We go so crazy about football. Football. We've been forgiven and given eternal gladness. St. Paul talks about in the second reading today, my favorite, one of my favorite scriptures in all the scriptures. So I knew I was not going to be able to get away from that in preaching. Your uh, God comes to us in our weakness, and it's in our weaknesses that the power of Christ reaches perfection. 